be ready 5 seconds honorable members we are in the third year of the pandemic caused by corona virus in these years people of india have displayed profound faith in the democratic values discipline and sense of responsibility at a time when india is celebrating the amrit mahotsav on the occasion of 75th year of its independence this will power of every indian creates immense confidence for india's bright future with this confidence i extend my greetings to every indian from this historic central hall of the parliament addressing both houses of parliament assembled together today i salute lakhs of freedom fighters who gave highest priority to their duties and secured the rights of india i also salute all the great personalities for their contribution in the development journey of our country in these 75 years of independence my government believes that remembering the past and learning from it are equally important for a secure future of the country observance of veer bal divas on 26th december in memory of sacrifice of sahib zadas and vibhajan vivishika smriti divas on 14th august is a reflection of this thinking the government also decided to celebrate the birth anniversary of bhagwan birsa munda on 15th november as janjatiya gaurav divas as a tribute to him azadi ka amrit mahotsav is a sacred occasion for all the indians to give concrete shape to the resolutions for the next 25 years my government is moving fast on building a strong foundation for the next 25 years following the mantra of sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas or sabka prayas the most important resolution related to this foundation is the creation of an india which includes all benefits all which is strong and self reliant the challenging period of corona has inspired us to achieve our goals at the fastest possible pace the covid pandemic affected the entire world and in india too many of our loved ones were snatched away from us in these circumstances the central government state governments local governments and administration our doctors nurses and health workers our scientists and entrepreneurs have worked as a team this mutual trust coordination and cooperation between the government and citizens is an unprecedented example of the strength of our democracy for this i appreciate every health and frontline worker and every citizen an example of india's capability 
in the fight against COVID-19 is evident in the ongoing COVID vaccination program. We have surpassed the record of administering more than 150 crore vaccine doses in less than a year. Today, we are among the leading countries in the world with the highest vaccine doses administered. Success of this campaign has given a shield to the country, providing enhanced protection to our citizens while also boosting their morale. Today, more than 90% adult citizens of the country have received the first dose of the vaccine, whereas more than 70% have been administered both the doses. The government is also reaching out to the rest of the population through the Har Ghar Dastak campaign. Adolescents in the age group of 15 to 18 years have also been included in the vaccination program from this month. Precautionary dose for the frontline workers and senior citizens with comorbidities has also been started. So far, eight vaccines have been approved for emergency use in the world. Three vaccines being manufactured in India have also got approval from the World Health Organization for emergency use. These vaccines manufactured in India are playing an important role in making the entire world free from the pandemic and in saving crores of lives. The efforts of the country are not limited to addressing the immediate challenges in the fight against COVID pandemic. My government is developing far-reaching solutions which would be effective and useful in future also. The launch of Pradhan Mantri Ayushman Bharat Health Infrastructure Mission with an outlay of rupees 64,000 crore is a commendable example. This will not only help in meeting the current health requirements, but will also prepare the country for any future crisis. Health facilities are now easily accessible to the common people because of the responsive policies of my government. More than 80,000 health and wellness centers and crores of Ayushman Bharat cards have helped the poor immensely in getting treatment. Government has reduced the cost of treatment by providing affordable medicines through more than 8,000 Jan Aushadhi Kendras. Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission is an important step in providing easy and accessible health services. The Indian pharma sector has also proved its mettle during the corona period. Presently, products of Indian pharma companies are reaching more than 180 countries. However, there is a wide range of opportunities for India in this sector. The PLI scheme announced by my government for the 
pharma industry will further expand the opportunities and will also provide impetus to research.